he's got a key to the city of Lafayette, Louisiana, but with the present company, Daniel Cormier here, I'm not sure I'm gonna go so far as to call him the king of Lafayette, but Dustin Poirier has become a UFC champion and he remains one of the best lightweights in the world. If he's not the king of Lafayette, he's one of the kings of the UFC's lightweight division. A phenomenal striker, has such great boxing, big, strong, long arms, and an ability to fight through so much adversity to try and accomplish his goals. He's one of the most exciting fighters in the lightweight division, but also has the ability to knock you out and just outgrind you over 25 minutes. And at times competing as a featherweight, he was almost a victim of his own success. He did so well that he stayed down there. Of course, since moving up to 155 pounds, he has put his best foot forward, and he draws yet another elite lightweight in this spot tonight. All right, so tonight we get another look at the decorated lightweight champion, Islam Makhachev. This is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Such a nuanced game on the ground. Outstanding striker as well, and puts his belt on the line yet again tonight. Yeah, you know, Johnny, puts his belt on the line. This guy, this guy does everything so well. He's so well-rounded, he's so skilled, he's so gifted, and he is so confident in his ability to go and get you. It's that simple. I'm going to get you. I'll get my hands locked. I'll throw you to the ground. And I will make you engage with me on my terms. That has allowed for him to become the champion. And tonight, he has even more of an advantage because there's the boy, Hasbula. Hasbula entrenched in the corner of Islam Akashev. And we'll probably have a photo shoot later if fans are interested to we'll see how it goes for Akashev tonight. Our tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makhachev. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee fight. for this one. Ready. Good. All right, so here's the former UFC interim lightweight champion, Dustin Poirier. He has had so many signature wins. He is after another one here tonight. And told us in our fighter meeting, believes he has the striking advantage here tonight. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> Big power shot there. All right, too easy right out of the shoot. The wrestler is able to land his first takedown attempt against the kickboxer. And hate to overstate it, but that moment feels pretty significant. Early. It's a massive moment. He knew that he needed to get this fight to the floor early. He needed to discourage this guy and remind him that, hey, you've defended takedowns before, but you have not defended my takedowns. I am at a different level, and when I am wrestling you, you go down. You've got to be careful here. Makashev's in half guard now. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how, how skilled both of these men are. Boom! Straight left hand. That was a nice transition. 
That was right off the strike into the takedown, and it looked effortless. It did not look like he had to work hard to finish this takedown at all. Just that oh, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Oh, on time. On time. On time. Oh, that is tight. Could be the beginning of the end. And is out. Aurier gets back up. And there's a takedown. to the corner now, and we will keep a close eye on things. Makashev's got a cut to deal with above the eye, or perhaps better put, the cut man has got to deal with it. We'll see if he can stop the bleeding. All right, let us now take a look back at some of the replays, Daniel, from that previous round, and he certainly has the hands and the feet going tonight as he caused a cut there in that previous round. A lot of times you can't even dream this stuff up, where you fight this well. He has done everything right, and he opened up a massive cut over his opponent's eyes. And now you start to see the blood leak down into the eye, limiting, limiting his ability to try to slow him down. All right, we will see how much that bleeding has stopped as we get ready for this next round. Islam Akashev going for the takedown here, nothing doing that. Lands a nice leg kick. Nice job by him defensively there. Oh, he does it again, takes this fight right back to the ground one more time. This is exactly what he told us on Thursday, the game plan he's executing to perfection. And he's doing it exactly as he said he hoped it would go. He's getting to the legs, getting fantastic angles, and just, he's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Oh, he's got that submission tight now. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. He's postured, landing huge ground upon. The guy has to move or the fight's going to get finished. Makashev's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Lands with the ground and pound. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the right opponent, down. you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop the You gotta defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up, but it doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad right now. It's still bloody, but it's not really limiting his, his ability to continue. Let's see if he can get through this and win this fight. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and stuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Big ground and pound. Good job to land these strikes from top position. Like that. Like that. He's very close to the finish here. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Look at him, he's setting up a choke now. Look at him, he's setting up. Oh, and there's the 
Oh. the horn at the end of the round, so the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position, and it's all about now where is the cut? Is it above the eye? Is it below the eye? But every time you get hit in that area, it is going to sting, and the bleeding will then cause issues to your sight. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Round three of a possible five. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 33 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Malkachev.